All right, welcome back, teachers. So we're looking at what we call these little making science films. These are called pulp pipes. Now you can order these from Steve Spangler Science. What you can also do is you can go to Home Depot and you can also cut them at the specific lengths. Either or works fine depending upon what your school's budget is. These can be used in a couple different ways in your classroom. Now first, let me show you what they actually do. You'll notice that a, they're all brightly different colors. Color has nothing to do with it, but what does have something to do with it are the lengths. So you can see how all of the different tubes, so the white, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black, are all different lengths of pipes. Well, these lengths correspond to different musical notes. The white is actually a C note, or C1. Red is a D note. Orange is E. Yellow is F. Green is a G note. Blue is A. Purple is a, set, or a B note. And black is another C note. Now when you order them from the Spangler Science, you're also going to get a couple different songs. You can do Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and Chopsticks you can do as well. So this is where the musical songs is a great connection with bringing arts into the classroom because if we under, want to understand how music works, it's all physics. So this is a great connection between the arts and your science and understanding how sound and how musical instruments work. So whether it's like a pipe organ or something of that nature, but... They're called a palm pipe because as I pick them up, so they all make different musical notes. And the reason they're making notes without explaining different videos is about just the length of the pipes. So we can do this as an extension after we talk about sound, after we talk about different notes and frequencies and different pitches, and we can actually make songs with it as an extension, or I can use this in the very beginning of a lesson when I'm starting to talk about frequency, I'm starting to talk about pitch and musical notes, and just give these to my students, and I can say, hey, you know, so what are some things that I can do with these to make some sounds? They might try hitting their hands with them, nothing happens. Try not to let them hit surfaces because they'll probably damage, but sooner or later, they might try this, Slight difference, but the point is, oh, if I hit them, and as soon as one gets it, all of your students are going to do it. It's going to be chaos. That's okay. You want to get them excited about what's happening with the music in the classroom. So it's a great way to introduce the different ideas about frequency and pitch, and then bring in some ties into the musical conversations later. Or you can even talk about sound and tone, where it's like I'm hitting the two, and what's happening as I hold. It's making a sound because I'm what's making the sound. Okay? So these are a couple of different ways that you can use these in your classroom. Thanks and have a wonderful day.